because the Christmas is a friend. The truth sets off the equation. Okay? We have to break it down. Stepwise, so that everybody can understand. So this we have five. Raise the power x minus four times five raised to the power x. Then we can say that this can be written as five dot five leg one is equals to five raised to the power three. Okay, now let explain something here and here. This is the same as we saying that we have a multiplying a raised to the power negative y. Okay, and this by indices, if we break this one down, okay, the answer to this will be a x minus y. In the same way, 5 is the power 3 is given as 5 multiplying 5 and 5. And this, if we take a time and break it down, okay, break it down, this, we can confidently see this is 5 raised to the power 3. Isn't it? Fantastic. So all of you are clear with this. If that is the situation, then let's go back, let's continue. So by so doing, this implies that 5 is the power x minus 4 times 5 exponent x, okay, dot 5 leg 1 is equal to 5 is the power 3. In other way, in, we can also say we can also say that this can also be written as five raised to the power x minus four times five raised to the power x all over five is equal to five raised to the power three. Why am I saying that? Because this can be written in this way. Can be written this five. Is the power x over 5. It is the same as 5 x dot 5 leg 1. Okay? Because this is the same as 5 x dot 1 over 5. By so doing, we can say the 5 is the power x minus 4 dot 5 exponent x divided by 5 is equal to 5 raised to the power 3. So, to be able to simplify this equation in such a way that we can make it easy for us to so solve it out, we have to multiply true by 5. So, multiply through the whole equation, okay, by five. Okay, so we want to get rid of the fraction, the denominator. So this means five is multiplying five to the power x minus four. As we know, the five is gonna cancel this. So we have dot five exponent x is equal to five exponent x. 3 times 5. Okay, and if we simplify this, we're going to get 5 out 5x minus 4 dot 5x. 5 is the power x, sorry. And this will give us 5 raised to the power 4. Why? Because we know if we have this, okay, it's the same as a times ay which is given as ax plus y that's why we have the positive three plus one will be four okay 
So that will make it easier for us to work now. Okay, so let's rewrite our equation back. Then our equation, now we know that finally we have five, a five exponent x minus four into bracket five exponent x is equal to five to the power of four. Are we all right? Now, by looking at the equation, that we have arrived at, okay, like that. This equation is our confidence because now when we look at this equation very carefully, you see that we have something that is very common to the equation. We have this and that, this and that. They all have exponent x, okay, so, what can we do? How do we solve this question? Well, if you, by inspection, we say by inspection, by inspection, let 5 raise the power x equals to capital A. Okay. So, this equation is nothing that we are just substituting. 5 raised the power x to be equal to a. Then our equation finally will be 5 times a minus 4 times a equals to 5 raised the power 4. Therefore, a is equal to 5 raised the power 4. Okay, but this is not our answer. Why is, why is it so that this 5 raised to the power 4 is the final answer? Because bear in mind that the question asks us to find the truth set of the equation. Okay, when it says 5, find the truth set of the equation means we are looking for the values of x that make the equation true. Okay, so we go back and we realize that we said earlier that we should let this. We should let 5x to be equal to a. So then we have to do substitution back into the equation. So if we do that, then, so by substitution, by substitution, okay, then we can say that since we have 5x equals to a and a, it's equal to 5 raised to the power 4. Then we can say that 5x, 5 raised to the power x is equal to 5 raised to the power 4. Okay. Please, please remember that by indices, eh, by indices, one of the properties of indices, that says that if you have, if you have a raised to the power x, that equals to a raised to the power y. Then this implies that x is equal to what? Y. And this, that, that is the scenario. Then, then we can say boldly that our value x is equal to what? 4. And confidently we can say that the truth set of the equation is that as such that x is equal to 4. X is the truth set of the equation. Okay, as simple as that.